It is the final prototype that would later evolve and develop into what we know today as Death Providence, the Walking Fortress. It is WEA-03-P3, Chisaku-3, with a kit of Charge Buster, Break, Power Rifle, Multi-Legs, and the leg ability of Trap Buster, which removes any traps placed, against, placed on the allied side of the field. Now, much like the earlier two prototypes, Shisaku's 1 and 2, the kit between all three and even the final product of Death Providence is more or less identical across the board. Minus, of course, Shisaku's 1 and 2 being tank-legged, and Shisaku 3 and Death Providence being multi-legged. And 3 in this case is where the development into the multi-legged design was first, was first con conceptualized and finalized. Charge Buster is a shooting-based skill that has a Metaforce-reliant damage bonus to it. That means upon use, it will consume a small amount of charge, either 10% or 5%, but also gives you a, get, grants you a damage bonus for the consumption of such. And that damage bonus is, of course, reliant on a certain threshold of your Metaforce being, being met and maintained when firing. So you, can get an even, so you can get an additional damage bonus on top of your base damage just for having a very largely full or almost full Metaforce gauge. Right Arm of Break is a gravity attribute skill that is fantastic for one thing, and that is Heavy Punish. That means anyone using two or more heavy parts are going, or, yeah, two or more heavy parts will be absolutely feeling the pain with massive and full-on heavy punish and, and shred through any armor they may have, whereas anyone using one or none may not feel much, if anything at all. Though it is also worth noting with gravity attribute skills, they are also good for a high, they are also known for having a high success rate, which means that they are less likely to be dodged or grazed, and more likely to land crits as a further bonus. Left arm of rifle, a power rifle, is a conventional shooting skill with a damage with a contingent damage bonus, which means it will get you a 1.5 a times 1.5 damage bonus as long as the user's legs remain intact, at the cost of a cooldown penalty of no dodge and no defend. So extra power, but it takes you just a little bit longer to cool off and it leaves you wide open. Now as mentioned, Shisaku 3 is where the concept from tank leg to multi leg is first conceptualized before Death Providence finalizes the final product. But this means that he will have moderately solid coverage across most terrains, arguably one of the next better ones under biped in many cases, and the leg ability of Trap Buster is actually a carryover from the earlier models, as it means that any negative traps placed against his side of the field, that can include shoot trap, disturbance, or anything of the like, he can forcibly remove it by simply stomping over it, more or less, in his, ca in his case, and render it null and void. That being said, with, he also is a very easy model to obtain in, in any particular gacha, given that he is a two-star model, and that's actually kind of finalizing a trend where you can get any of the prototype models more or less anywhere. Shisaku 1 is a friend point gacha model, Shisaku 2 is a fierce battle, Shisaku 3 is a permanent pool gacha, and starts at a two-star model, which means that while he is a little bit more expensive to raise, a little bit less expensive, I'm sorry, he also has the highest base stats and damage of the three prototypes underneath Death Providence. That being said, as a pure set score, I do have to rate Shisaku 3 a pretty solid 6.5 out of 10, given that compared to the other prototypes, but of course under Death Providence, he is definitely upper tier, and if you say miss Death Providence or do not have any of the other, or have worked your way up from the earlier prototypes, you can pretty much fit these parts right, right on top of the other ones with no major change in performance, aside from of course higher damage and higher stats. However, it is also worth noting that Shisaku 3's legs are definitely not the best of multi-legs that are available to you, given that they have a relatively low base mobility compared to most other multi-ped legs, and generally it's more a case of if you're going to use them fine, but there are still better options. In addition, it is also worth noting that also like the prototypes and Death Providence, Shisaku 3 is also triple heavy, which means that while he can dish out the pain and the heavy punish with break, he, is also, he, he can also dish it back and take it all the same as well for even more pain back to him. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him much higher at a 7.5 out of 10, given that, like I said, he is very easily obtained from any rookie or any veteran alike, so you can use his parts very easily and very conventionally anywhere. And to new players and rookies in particular, he can be seen as an absolute menace for a, ver for a, a selection of higher tier and stronger base shooting parts.